if you feel like plane <laughs> travel is taking longer than ever, well, guess what? You're right. A new article from Travel and Leisure, <laughs> Jeff over here, he's boiling. Well, it, report, it reports that planes are flying slower on purpose to save money on jet fuel. Yes, you heard me correct, but the good news is these slower speeds will only affect your trip like an additional two to 10 minutes. Right, and I know Jeff is gonna kill me for saying this, but the airlines mm -hmm. are business. They're trying to make a profit. Ooh. That's what they're supposed to do. They figure out how to make the most money, and if they figure going slower makes them more money over the course of thousands of flights a day, you gotta do it. It's capitalism. Ooh, Kim, grab yeah. your tea and let's just, let's just listen <laughs> to it that. Sure is, I don't it's think more your like issue is with, is with the time, because if you're gonna sit on a plane for five hours, five hours and 10 minutes is not gonna make that much of a difference. It That's started, not your issue, though. First, they took the food away. First, they, they started with olives, I remember. I'm going to go way <laughs> back. They took away five olives that they put on a salad, and they saved X amount of money a year. Then they just took food away altogether. I can't even get a movie on my flight anymore. Now let me get into price gouging, because they totally monopolized the market. You can't get anywhere. You pick, yeah, this is going to be a long segment, so don't wrap it up, Stu. All right, so now you buy your ticket. Just tell me what it is. If it's $500, it's $500. I'll pay it. Mm -hmm. Don't nickel and dime me $25 for this bag. Okay, cool. Now I want to pick my seat. Now I have to pay $70 to pick a seat on top of my bag, on top of my ticket, and I have a family, so now times all that by three. And then when I want a seat that's free in the back of the bus by the bathroom, <laughs> it says on the, online that there is no seats available, so I have to pay for my seat. Then when I get on a plane, I say, what's up? There's all these seats open. They're like, well, I don't know what to tell you. What about all those seats that are open up there? Could I sit up there? No, those are for paying customers. So, so long later, Friendly Skies, because there's no such thing. It's, it, it, I mean, it's gangsters running that business they need somebody to come they need the government to step in because I mean what is it here's two hundred dollars to go see your parents okay here's your receipt it's nine hundred dollars right. because you ate three jelly beans on a flight get out of here <laughs> Making a joke of it, but it's but a lot of people feel you. that way. Yeah, a lot of people. A lot of people. You yeah. don't feel that way. I say a lot of people do. But I feel like you I, yourself out of the equation. I will just say the airlines. We've all accepted the airlines are the only thing where, like, when you sit down on a plane, you assume everybody on the flight paid a different price than you yes, did yeah. for your seat. It's a weird thing. It's very difficult to regulate. I I agree with Jeff. I want the lowest prices possible, but they're also trying to get their money. That's capitalism. But just charge me your money. Charge it Ch for charge me. Charge it. You know what I mean? The right. next, I'm not, I'm not even joking. The next is going to be like a little coin machine to put your seat back. Right. <laughs> I'm not, you think yeah. I'm kidding? Some idiot at the airlines is like, that's a great idea. You probably just did something.